You can really feel when it's good and when it's bad you know it's bad and sometimes you can't do anything about it but when you do the perfect stroke you can feel how you go all together with, uh, with your partner and everything looks very easy and nice. Yeah. You know it's perfect when it's, it feels easy, you know you're, you're connecting it and it's just light so I think yeah there's a moment where you feel it and it's great. They're starting to open up even more of a lead. As the stroke woman looking up to the sky, she's praying for this line to I think come. the thing you don't see when you watch a rowing race is how easy it is to slow the boat down. So you just see the guys accelerating the boat by using their, their oars, by using their legs, their arms, their backs, and their muscles together. If it's not synchronized together, if it's not timed properly, then they'll slow the boat down. But the rowing that you'll see will be of such a high quality that the team really moves together, the boat doesn't kick backwards, the boat stays straight, um, the boat doesn't get knocked off from side to side when it's done well. And that's what really makes it go fast and that's why they practice you know, twice a day, every day for four years. What we think about is, is uh, keeping a wheel or a, a, bit of a mass spinning. So we think that the, the, you get the mass uh, of the boat and the rower uh, going, they have fill in with power to connect. And so we don't think about pulling extremely hard, more like using your body weight. We're working with the four now, and uh, from each rower we expect them to be a part of that big mass moving. I think you feel it when you, when you're especially in a team boat. You feel it when you're at the catch and everyone enters at the same time, and you just feel that the boat picks up and you're with the boat. It's not you trying to pull the boat. I'd say within rowing, there's probably three things that make the boat go fast. One is do you row a long stroke, so you move the boat a long way each stroke. The second thing is do you pull hard. And if you pull hard, the boat will go further for each one of those strokes. The third element is how many strokes do you do per minute? If you do more strokes, and they're still strong strokes, and they're still long strokes, the boat will go faster. The problem is sometimes you push one of these things on and the other one goes down. So the real art with rowing is to row long, to row strong, and then take more strokes, and then be efficient and be together so the boat keeps moving forwards. It's, it's almost incredible watching it, it's, it's poetry in motion.